Reading. Habsburg Jaw. How one family's power destroyed their health. Why did so many of the Habsburgs have this problem? It wasn't just a matter of bad luck. Scholars today say that Habsburg jaw was a direct result of inbreeding among the royal family. Indeed, many of the Habsburgs wedded close blood relatives. Nine out of the eleven marriages among the Spanish Habsburgs. Were between family members. Similar cases of inbreeding can also be found in other royal families. These marriages were meant to keep power within the family line, but they often led to genetic problems. Over time, this had terrible effects on the health of the family's descendants. Along with Habsburg jaw, many of them had serious mental illnesses, epilepsy. And other conditions that led to early death. The male Habsburg line eventually ended in 1700, with the death of Charles II, the last Spanish Habsburg king. He was severely disabled from birth, and was unable to produce children because of his many health problems. The House of Habsburg still survives today in Austria. But the family doesn't hold the power it once did. However, its members no longer suffer from Habsburg jaw either.